What's up, everybody? O and B. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Now, this story here bugged me out. Because I immediately went to thinking, I'm like, wow. It's like 20 some odd years later and this is going down? Wow. So, Rockefeller Records sues co-founder Damon Dash over reasonable doubt NFT. Now, see, I don't know anything about these NFTs, but they did say what it is. So I was like, and I still don't know what it is, even by them saying what it is. It only, I can only surmise. So Rockefeller Records Inc. is suing its co-founder Dame Dash for allegedly trying to sell a non-fungible token, an NFT containing ownership rights to the copyright for Jay-Z's 1996 debate stu um, studio album, Reasonable Doubt. The label says Dash doesn't own said rights and is seeking a court ruling to stop him from any further attempts to make the sale. On Friday, Rockefeller Records Inc., now owned by the Island Jam, by the Island Def Jam Music Group, filed a complaint in the U.S. District Court of the Southern District of New York against Dash after he allegedly planned to sell an NFT of the album's copyright in a virtual auction hosted by investor platform Superfarm. Bidding for the Reasonable Doubt NFT was set to take place from June 23rd to 25th, according to the claim. But the sale was canceled for the label um, after the label sent a letter to Superform explaining why the sale was improper. Despite, despite the cancellation, Rockefeller says it believes Dash is trying to sell a Reasonable Doubt NFT and has refused to stop his efforts to sell Rockefeller Records' most prized asset. Rockefeller Records is seeking a ruling that states the label exclusively owns all rights to Reasonable Doubt. The label is also asking that Dame Dash transfer ownership of any NFT or other asset in his possession, custody, or control reflecting rights to Reasonable Doubt to Rockefeller Records, Inc. Dash co-founded Rockefeller Records alongside Jay-Z and Kareem Burke in 1995, which is over 20 years ago. It was officially incorporated in New York on January 8th, January 8th, 1996. It became a division of Def Jam in 1997. The label became defunct in 2013. Dash disputed the claims to Rolling Stone on Monday, June 21st, claiming the lawsuit is inaccurate. He said he was not attempting to sell an NFT of the album, but that he was trying to auction his stake in Rockefeller Records after he claims the label attempt to, attempted to purchase it from him for a low price. When another black man calls another black man a thief just to make him look bad and so that they can devalue an asset that that other man owns just because he won't sell it to him at a low price i don't think this culture needs that that's what dad said i just think it's disappointing to also have a white lawyer calling me a thief on juneteenth he continued it's very representative of what they do to someone when they try to make a good guy look like a bad guy just because he's doing good business now you know something that right there is what I'm talking about. That man, he does own something apparently, and he hasn't sold it. They want it. So they trying to get it for free. Or get it at a low, low price. Oh, you don't need any money. Here you go. Yeah, it takes yeah, it takes a little bit. And he like, huh? <laughs> you gotta do better than that, buddy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. But let me tell you what's crazy to me. This man in 
Dame Dash created Rockefeller Records. And now Rockefeller Records is trying to bite him in his ass. So in that sense, he created a Frankenstein. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me think. It's like, yo, is a, is a lot of this stuff really worth doing? Going through all of this stuff to create something? Look what happened. Look, look, look at the article I did about Nina Simone. A lot of y'all don't even know who Nina Simone is. Y'all don't know y'all history. Y'all don't know anything past 10 years ago. And that's a damn shame. She's a cultural icon. A lot of you hip hoppers sample her music. But anyway, this ain't about that. You know, my thing is, is like, wow, yo. You can't even own something and, and, and come off of it without folks trying to poke and pick at you when you black. That man worked hard, B. Y'all seen all them videos of where before everything got over him making these deals, yada, 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 getting, getting his spots and getting his money right with these people, putting them in place. I respect the man because I know it takes a lot of hard work to do that. It takes a lot of sleepless nights to do that. It takes sleepless nights to do what I'm doing. Can you imagine what? Dame Dash had to go through the Bill Rockefeller beat. Ha! Huh. Woo! I respect that personally. So, when I look at stuff like this, and this man is just doing his thing, you think he's stupid? That man ain't stupid. He know what he doing. There, and so, I take the side of the man who has built the thing and just trying to get his just due. Look. We in this day and age now. I done worked. I done put in that work. I own this. This is what I want. You can try to get what you want, but you're going to pay for this. Because I, I work hard for this. You know what I'm saying? So, do your thing, Dame Dash. O&B signing out. Peace.